Hi everyone, welcome back to the automatic trading system video series. In this episode, I will go through the first two main functions of the system with some demonstrations. They are the market access functions and the trade engine function. Then in the next episode, I will go through the remaining two main functions. They are the market replay function and the simulation function. So let's begin. Here is the block diagram of the whole system. After I have demonstrated all the basic functions of the system, then I will show you how I implement these functions one by one in the upcoming episodes. The first and the most basic function of this system is to access the market in real time. Currently, I use interactive brokers to access the Hang Seng Index Future and Options but as I said before, the system has flexibility to plug in a new subsystem with some effort to extend the interface to the other trading API and the other market assets. Let me show you what operations I can do in the real-time system. The left-hand side is the virtual machine that it operates the trade engine using my actual account. I will demonstrate the trade engine function later in this video. At this moment, let's focus to the virtual machine at the right hand side, which I will talk about accessing the market by the real time system. For the demonstration purpose, I will use the paper account instead of my actual account to do the login. After I launch my system, then I can connect my system to the real-time market through IP Gateway. Here, I can make request for the data of the index future and option to get their price and size. I can place an order action here. And I can see the status of the action. I can also see my portfolio and the PNL for each position. While those requested market data are being monitored, the system will concur concurrently record the data into a database. Basically, each index future and option will have a separate data file in the text format. Each line represents a point in time for the take price or size. After I've recorded the data into the database, I can then play back the market or conduct the simulation that I will demonstrate these functions in the next episode. The second main function of the system is to 
is the trade engine, and this is the core part of the automatic trading system. For all the operations that I have implemented in the real-time system, they can interface with the trade engine to operate as an automatic trading system with the preset trading parameters. The trading parameters should be calibrated by the market data from time to time in order to get the optimal performance. This can be done by the simulation that I will cover it in the next video. So here in this video, let me continue to talk about the trade engine function first. When I start the trade engine, it will prompt me to set the trading parameters for what option to trade and what position to take. In other words, this is a couple of options that the trade engine will track its price continuously and execute all the actions if the course of the compo meets the target. Here I can fine tune the trade engine configuration. I will explain these configurations in the future episode. Initially, the trade engine will determine the appropriate range of options to be monitored, and then it will request the market data through the real-time system. By using the Bradshaw formulas, the trade engine will calculate the option properties from its market price. It will also calculate the implied volatility of the market at certain time intervals to determine what trading strategy to be taken today. If it is decided to open a new compo, for example, then according to the trading parameters, the trade engine will look up the corresponding options based on the calculated option properties. And then the trade engine will con continuously monitor the compo price. Additionally, I have added some intelligence to the trade engine so that it will place and adjust the order actions dynamically in order to reduce the trading cost from the bid ask spread and to increase the chance of making the deal at earlier time and with more favorable price. By the time when the compo price reaches the target, the trade engine will execute the order actions. This is the end of this episode. I have demonstrated the first two main functions of my system. The first function is to assess the real-time market. The second function is to automate the tra trading in the real-time market. In the next episode, I will demonstrate the remaining two functions. They are the market replay and the simulation. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.